gas is coming inside the house, as you know, I would imagine. So come in close with me and I'll show you what I'm doing. I actually didn't have to really use those, but I have those built tight right here. And then use this up. And I, I sprayed this with WD before I started twerking on it with these. Just spray a bunch on there, you know. Like same thing, I'm gonna go a little bit slower with it, which is this yellow pipe. Gas is coming inside the house here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you in close and it's it sounds easy, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about where the gas comes in, or at least everything you need to know about my situation. So you're probably gonna have a similar situation, I would imagine. So come in close with me and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so what I have here is two pipe wrenches. One is an 18 inch pipe wrench and the other one is a 14 inch pipe wrench. I've also got two pairs of channel locks right here. And I actually didn't really need to use those, but I have those. I've got WD-40 and I've got a couple of cleaning brushes like these. Uh, one's metal, a couple are plastic. And this fitting right here um, is where I'm gonna do is I've cut these old gas lines because they were all rusted out. And I have another video on how I cut these out. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these pipe wrenches, snag onto this pipe right here with this one. And then I'm gonna use this other one to uh, spin this fitting off, which I've already done. But and I, I, you, I needed both of these to get it off because it was rusted on there. And I'm gonna show you how that comes off. And then this fitting, is gonna to connect to, this is a one inch pipe, and it's gonna connect right here. This is a one inch fitting, and I'm gonna go back with the same T with two three quarter inch lines. One's gonna to go to a wall furnace, and the other one's gonna to go to my oven. So first I held these here like this, and I've, you know, you tighten them down where it's tied on the pipe, and this, this one's pushing where it's pulling the pipe that way, and that helps you keep this pipe steady so that you don't just ruin it, you know? So hold it tight right here and then use this other one and I'm gonna pull it towards me to loosen it. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So this is lefty loosey, but I'm gonna go righty tighty on this arm until that breaks loose, okay? Now that it's broke loose, you turn that pipe wrench around and then push it back up in there where it's tight again and then loosen it and you kind of push it when you press it in it grabs the teeth grab and when you push it out the two the teeth loosen up so that's kind of how it snags but keep doing that until you've got it all the way off okay now that this is loose taking it off and there's the old one and I'm getting rid of it. Set it right there for now. Now I'm gonna take some WD, and I, I sprayed this with WD before I started twerking on it with these wrenches. But you just spray a bunch on there, you know? I glob it all over there. Spray it on that thing. Get it on your wrench if you want to. It's not gonna hurt anything. Get it all on there like that. Let it set for a few minutes, come back, and then scrape it. And I'm using these plastic ones first to kind of loosen everything up with the plastic ones. And if these threads are just completely destroyed or busted and completely ruined, obviously this is not gonna be the video for you, but you could still maybe learn some basics on this video. So anyway, here's that. And now I'm gonna take the metal one which is this one right here. And I'm gonna kinda, you know, do the same thing, but I'm gonna go a little bit slower with this metal one. And you wanna get it really clean. Scrub it for, you know, five, 10 minutes, whatever you need, 20 minutes, five minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, just, you know, get it good and clean. And then I'm gonna take that plastic brush again, and I just kinda like this to scoop all that rust out. This one was pretty bad. So I'm gonna scoop all that rust out like that. And then I'm gonna spray it again, just like that. And you can see it'll keep getting cleaner and cleaner. And you just wanna let that set then for a little while. And then you can take a, a rag and clean it all up. 
Um, but so now, and not in this video, but you use pipe dope. And this is kind of where we're going to end this one. Uh, this is one inch, like I said, going down to uh, three, or this is probably one and a half or something inch going down to one inch right here. And I'm going to put pipe dope and stuff on this fitting. And this will bring me into my house. Now that I've come into my house, I'll show you this fitting right here really fast. This fitting right here is the fitting that I use to go to the yellow pipe, which is this yellow pipe right here. And it's home flex pipe. And this is home flex fitting. You have to use the home flex fitting for the home flex pipe. And I'll explain all this stuff in my next video. But this is the fitting that I'm gonna to use to go. And then this fitting will go inside there. I actually have two of them, one for here. And I'm gonna bring one that way and one this way. So if this was helpful, go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos.